Hello everyone. Welcome to Fever Channel. I am so super happy to meet you all with another most interesting series. In this series, we are going to build an enterprise-based cybersecurity lab. This series is for who are practicing penetration testing, IT security analysts, system and network administrator, red team, blue team, and all the cybersecurity professional and students. Why we are building this lab? To get hands-on networking skill. Networking is play a vital role in communication. So this series will help us in understanding the network concepts and network devices purpose. To get hands-on system administrator skill. We are going to set up an enterprise lab. So basically we'll be working on the server, endpoint and application configurations and setup. By doing it, we are going to understand the workflow and how to configure properly and follow the security standards, virtualization configuration experience. So nowadays, most of the industries are depend on virtualization and we are going to build our lab in virtual environment. So by doing it, we are going to understand what is virtualization and how to create a VMs in the virtualization platform and also security postures of when we are creating a VMs. To get hands-on penetration testing skills, even though you have a skill kits, you have learned it, there is a place to learn and practice it. So by creating this lab, you can practice the penetration process flows and tools and you can understand, you get an in-detail knowledge about penetration skills. To learn how to monitor and defend against cyber attack. So this will tell you how to you can effectively monitor and detect the threats and protect the infrastructure. And also we are going to see various techniques to stop cyber attack effectively. Sim configuration experience. Sim play vital role in any. A good sim setup will help the defense team to monitor effectively and in threat hunting process. Learn IT security procedure. Best set practices and we will understand do's and don'ts to get hands on cyber security tools. As I said earlier, so by practicing it, you will get a much knowledge on cyber security tools, where, how this tool function, where to use, where not to use, and what is the purpose of this tool so that you will get a more knowledge about the tool purpose as well. Finally, we are creating a place to practice the cyber security and enhance our skill. This is the architecture I'm just going to create and set up on it. So my virtualization software, what I'm going to use is Proxmox. Proxmox is a industry standard open source virtualization software like uh, EXI, VMware. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to use a PFSense, which is a firewall. So from the firewall, I'm going to set up a uh, AD TC server and one DNS server. So basically this Windows server I'm going to set up and also I'm just going to configure a vulnerable web server because I'm just going to perform my attacks and see how this environment is uh, when there is a web server is vulnerable. How I can get into the infrastructure just bypassing the firewall and getting into there and also when I'm getting into there how the SOC operation getting into my pictures and that will be give a clarity on it. So that's why I'm going to set up vulnerable web server. And in my SOC operations, I'm just going to use a, a VAS, uh, which is a, a host intrusion detection system. And the Splunk is my SIM tool. And the Suricata is one more ideas. So this will give me anything on, uh, uh, if anything suspicious activities on happening on the host machines, and um, it's also sending these things will be sending the logs to the Splunk and using the dashboard, same dashboards, I'm going to monitor these things. So this is a SOC operation. And finally, we're going to set a client to mission. So basically, uh, this will help us like this is a basically complete infrastructure. If you take any infrastructure enterprise, there will be a, a Windows server will be there, which is a AD and DC and DNS will be there and uh, application few application servers will be there and any industry standard SOC operations will be running and uh, firewall will be forwarding the logs to the Splunk and other HID devices ideas will be forwarding it and uh, there are end user machines will be having on it. So 
this is a this is a one network and network two i'm just going to set a red team mission which is a kali linux and we going to, after setting all these things uh, in a we going to perform a certain attacks and see how it is happening over there so this is the uh, design of it that's it guys i hope i have covered pretty much about the series and the content in the introduction video if you have any suggestion please comment below if you think the video is useful please consider giving a like and sharing show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel follow me on the social media and stay connected on the beaver discord server thank you all bye for now see you soon with series 1 take care bye